Here comes Prim into the lane against two Hawkeyes and swatted by Kate Martin. Return to sender. Martin got her feet in position where she could get all ball there. Martin, four points, four rebounds against FAU. Good ball fake and gets it to go. They may have struggled to score. They're still going to do what they do best. I was thinking that. I mean, and as much as she's not for Sanano again, I, I don't think I can get enough of watching her tonight. She is just phenomenal. They missed her when she was open a little bit earlier. Right there. Just staying under the rim, staying in the right spot at the right time. She doesn't give up. This is a time where... It's just fun. You have a leader on Myers State on the court. She's going to lead her team. The new kids on the block. She's got a lot of experience here. Martin, newly in the game, pulls from three and is successful for Iowa at the half. Earlier in conference play. That's a lot of block. Martin works her way inside a big bucket off the bench. Over to Kate Martin. Doyle in the paint. Stops, elbow. Martin thinks about the three and she fires it and gets it to go. Top of the key. Eight on the shot clock, loose ball. Doyle grabs it, throws it to Kate Martin who runs up with it. Doyle still back trailing. Here's Martin straight to the hole and the layup is good. Finds Taiwo, who takes it down low. Kicks out to Martin. Martin will drive. And Martin will get it to fall. And one, center of the line for one. Kate Martin for three. The first shot of her first points. Marshall into Meyer. Long three for Martin. She knocks it down. Kate Martin at the corner extends the Iowa lead to nine. Martin thought about it. She'll take it against Wise. Turnaround, 13-footer. That's good. That's her game right there. Dribble drive. Turning away the screen. Martin's going to do a quick little pivot turnaround and... She's really good at that. Was on her toes waiting, and here's that nice turnaround from Martin. Good slip, and Sonato with the two. At least flashes of it. Kick out, Martin, three ball. Knocks it down, Kate Martin the triple. Alexis Civilian has checked in for the first time. There's another example of that passing, and guess who is on the receiving end again? 14 points now for Sonato. Awareness. On the offensive end, you see this last bucket. See nobody on the weak side. A little bit of an adjustment for the team to begin the year. And she feeds Meyer. Tip return beats the clock. Kate Martin. Yeah, they use some clock, and it's just great to see that three ball go down with seven seconds remaining. They took a page out of Iowa's book there, shooting the triple, and Kate Martin with the answer on the other end. Martin with another chance. That time she'll drill it. Yeah, you cannot give Iowa two opportunities. Um, we see Iowa has definitely had played up some with some top teams on their defense-wise, so Minnesota's going to have to be looking for all those open shots to kind of like change up the game for what Iowa might be expecting. The Spartans, you're right, just coming back from their own COVID pause. Step through move. Kate Martin trying to build the momentum for the Hawkeyes. Well, right here, there's the freeze move, and then there's the nice little slow walker. 
she's had she struggled to get loose from Cardano Hillary and when she got in the ball screen she was able to make an efficient pass but no need to with Martin stepping up to knock that down however not quite as fast as Penn State was showing in the first half Kate Martin has been the player of the half for Iowa Caitlin Clark coming back in but nope give it to Martin Johnny on the spot beating the buzzer by the way that's what makes this Iowa team dangerous. Yes, they have Caitlin Clark, who puts up nearly 27 a game. They have Monica Snod. They just read and react off of one another so well. Both sophomores, both evolved as young players with a lot of minutes last season, especially Ashley Owusu. Either with a pass or a dribble drive, you've got to commit the middle of that zone. Martin from the corner, as the buzzer sounds, they're going to count it. Kate Martin and Iowa charging hard. Minor pain there, but it has really gotten worse over the course of time, and she'll have to have that surgically repaired after the season is over. Goodman with the soft touch, and it's her first two. Nebraska's having a, a slight down year, too. They were 17 and 13 a season ago, 11 and 10 this year, but I like Amy Williams' club, as that's an and one for Kate Martin. And having those nine titles, Ohio State is next with five. <laughs> A wide open look here for Marshall, and she takes care of it. Giles again with this defensive assignment. They have so many defensive choices to try to put on her. Monica Sinano picking up where she left off in the second round game. Winston looking for her first points in this game. She has not scored yet, and Martin swatted her. Oh boy, watch this one. Typed up by Winston, deleted by Kate Martin. Oh, what a... Taiwan on the right wing, right of the key. Down low, Kate Martin off the glass and the score. The off-balance shot by Kate Martin. Her third field goal has six and has 56 to 30, Iowa. The timeline now to Corn Cornoyer, picked up by Gabby Marshall. Marshall seems to be Iowa's best defender and draws the opposition's best offensive player. Down low to Monica Sonano on the inside. She has Olivia Ramil and... Southern will counter on the inside. They go to Monica Sinano immediately. Gets a nice lob from Kate Martin in the, in the layup. She's explosive. Her three-point shooting has improved. She can even hit the hard two-point shots. Nowhere on the floor she can't score. Monica Sinano can score from just about anywhere in the paint. The country because she's so good at using her body and understanding angle. As you can see here, she gets great position. Here's Clark. Muscles her way in the paint. Kicks it out. Martin for three. Drills it from the right wing. Williams on the drive, the lefty. Oh, Kate Martin sends it into the support. Who's been the starting point guard for the last three seasons. That one's good from Kate Martin. When you set a screen, you are going to be the most open person, just like that Kate. Here's Kate Martin on the baseline. Dumps it down to Sinano off the backboard. Kelsey Mitchell is still playing and hooping it up with the Indiana Fever in the WNBA. Martin will line that up and knock down the three. Clark playing a lot of minutes per game, played all 40 minutes in the Hawkeyes' last matchup as a nice baseline drive there from Kate Martin. Even against Purdue most recently, she was 5 for 14, still at 24 points. Yeah, almost had a triple-double again. Nine boards, eight assists. Iowa sitting in their horn set. There's going to be probably a high ball screen coming. Three seconds to go for Martin. She finds a little bit of space. That drops through at the buzzer. Happiness with the board. Hagen's with the ball. She heard you. But a nice block by the Hawkeyes. Kate Martin. She tried it. You have to love the effort. Shea Hagen's knows, hey, it's time to go. It's go time. Let's get to the rim. Martin to Clark. Back to Martin. Sonano once again. Ties it once again. That's what Iowa does, the off-ball movement. That face cut from Martin. I've been waiting to see it all day. Such an artistic game. 
You're in for a good one tonight. If you have not watched Caitlin Clark this season, here's Gabby Marshall getting to the rim and making it a one-point game early. She has that three-pointer that was really, really well, well done. The moves that she's shown today are just nothing short of amazing. Knocked away by Martin will push. Fast break behind the back pass, and Clark up and good for two. You want to win those home games, but you have an 11-game win streak. You want to add to that for sure. Great move off the glass from Kate Martin to respond. 9.46 has been put back on the clock. I think they've got the malfunction taken care of. The Hawks on the inbound. Here is Kate Martin, a running right-handed layup only, and it just trickles over the rim. In charge at Iowa. Got Caitlin Clark to stay home. Sonano got the mismatch with Benson. Good pass by Martin, and really good recognition of the switches. Boy, Moore McNeil coming in. Moore McNeil tried to get it underneath into Brown, and... The pass was Aaron, and that's back-to-back -back Indiana turnovers. Clark down low to O'Grady, and Iowa extends the lead. Into Sonano, what a beautiful feed and finish. The reverse for Sonano, one point game, six minutes left. Iowa and Indiana going down to the wire, Monica Sonano. And then her defense has been tremendous. Rutgers at 27 in the third quarter. Sonano on the entry pass. Hillman just the one bucket, but she's been doing other things for the Wolverines. And the three ball. Hey, Martin attacking, finishing, plus the foul. Madison O'Grady on the block, everyone else was wide. And that creates gaps because you have shooters on the outside. You can't help off of those shooters or they will make you pay. So now you can rip and go from the elbow. Great choice right there by Kate Martin. Getting down, space and pace, pushing tempo, getting up the floor and getting easy buckets. That way you don't have to contend with the quarter court defense from Iowa. Kate Martin back to the basket. She's got it. Martin one on one, nice move around Berger. Kate Martin has come to play in this Big Ten. Foul baity type of game. They started playing their type of basketball and they have taken over since. Fontenot pass stolen by Martin. Martin dribbles up the floor, gives it to Sonano. Back cut to Martin, score it. Davis lobs into Sonano, good catch on the block. Kicks it out, Clark fakes the three, goes to Martin, corner three, count it. From the Bruins game notes, Belmont is good dump pass. Martin for three, got it. Marshall passed up the three, Martin, Valley. Her turn to score. So there seems to be a little bit of a disconnect there. Sydney Hilliard dribbling up for that layup, but it's no good. It's going to be blocked by Kate Martin and a deep pass in by Clark to Davis. Here's Davis. Shot clock winding down. They don't see it. Oh, back in by Martin to beat the buzzer. I mean, when it's going your way, it's going your way. Yeah, trying to be too aggressive going after that offensive rebound that time. Martin with force to the rim. The Hawkeyes continue to attack, putting the ball on the floor. Attack mode for the Hawkeyes up 12. Martin slow to get up there. I'm sorry, Marshall slow to get up. Buffelli. Kate Martin says not today. Back after the uh, after the last Hawkeye game, she was uh, she was down and maybe pushes up to Martin. Martin drives to the right. Hook pass to Sonano. She's fouled from behind by Boyd. Better this year than their <laughs> matchup last year with Purdue. Taking it away is Martin. So crafty defensively. And then back from Clark for two. That's Kate Martin with some pressure on the basketball. Gets out in transition. And the oldest playing basketball will give and go and finish by Kate Martin. Fun matchup on New Year's Day here in Champaign. Most highly anticipated women's basketball game here in Champaign in years. Kate Martin's story. Book it. Knock it down the three-point shot. Not Michigan's strength this year. 
And tripping it up, it drops. How aggressive Kate Martin has been. Uh, and I, I don't know right here. It looked like she did pass it right between Leah Brown's legs. That bounce pass into the post player. And then cutting off the ball. Defenses tend to relax a little bit once your man gets rid of the ball. And Leah Brown relaxes for just a second. Three goes up from Warnock. Misses. Kate Martin with the offensive rebound. Gets it out to Clark. Back into Sonano. Out to Martin for three. Got it. Forces the turnover, but Leilani Campanis cannot capitalize. Beautiful passing as the freshman Hannah Stolke is inside for two. Hageman has such a quick first step. She loves that driving and slashing game. Down low, Martin in trouble. Finds Sonano on a nice cut. You know, it helps too if she's hitting shots early. Oh. That confidence soars. 100%. Kate Martin dumping it off to the freshman, Hannah Stolke. You really do. You look around, you see everybody just kind of wince and hold their breath when she hits the deck. What a block there by Kate Martin. And we talked a lot, a <laughs> beautiful block about McKenna Warnock being out. Number six, Iowa against number eight, Maryland. A nine, six lead early on. And Caitlin Clark already with nine points. That was early on in the first quarter and she has not shot or scored since. Uh, Penn State has just not had good spacing offensively. Up ahead, Molly Davis extends for the layup. Well, the Hawkeyes taking good defense and turning it into better offense. Molly Davis all up in the grill of McKenna Marisa and then Kate Martins constantly keeps her head up looking ahead. Good job by McKenzie Holmes to play the high side and get the deflection. Burner wiggles around the defense, well defended by Kate Martin. Rutgers one of three to start out, but hampered by turnovers early. Beautiful basketball. You expect nothing else from the Hawkeyes as Martin finishes. You have to also move without the ball. Great timing, Gabby Marshall getting Kate Martin down here in the catch and finish. Look at the timing of that. Cut hard, take purposeful cuts, and the ball will find you in Really push Pilova, she's got herself a Quite a task here tonight trying to guard their, their best player and their leading scorer from the year ago. And she's doing a great start there with the steal. A steal, a pass to Caitlin Clark and assist forward to. Kate hey, Martin slashing in the lane. Jazz Shelley making it impossible for Martin to score, who somehow does. But Kate Martin, this is why she's the model of consistency. You put a couple of defenders in front of her. And they are legit. When you talk about the range across midcourt, she is in shooting range. In transition, Martin, nice move there and takes the hit as well. Kate Martin, she's been a real factor early here. The crowd and her team. And what else can she do? Kate Martin, she's got speed too and the spin perfection. She's going to make you pay. And then right there, you... Leaning like that to her left. That's just beautifully executed and confidently taken and made. Kate Martin, the fake and the finish. The Hawkeyes team that returns 11 players who won the title here in the tournament last year. Kate Martin, one of the five returning starters from that squad. There a moment ago, now floats it up and in right before the buzzer went off. Looked like it was deflected, but Kate Martin able to pick it up and finish it with the floater. Last made basket is the shortest player on the team, uh, but she is always getting in the paint, doing the dirty work. I mean, last season we even saw a few killer blocks from her. She's always hustling. I've always wanted. Oh, there. Great you know. play. <laughs> 0 for 8 to begin the season. So she drains one. Now 5 in the clock. Martin energized by that 3. 2 on the clock. Davis at the horn, and that counts. Under 60 against Kansas State. The offense is back for the Hawkeyes. Iowa has erupted for 37 points. Molly Davis. <laughs> Davis driving baseline. Kate Martin, what a move to the rim.
efficiency that Kate Martin has been playing with. Molly Davis drawing three defenders, just a simple ball fake help. Ever since then, she's averaging almost 15 a contest. She's been playing so good that, to your point, Lisa Bluter told us WNBA uh, teams are starting to sniff around about her specifically. Great drive by Kylie Feuerbach. Maples cannot silence this crowd. Leaking out ahead is Martin and found by Clark. It is all Hawkeyes here in the third. Caitlin Clark over to Kate Barton. All the way around for a Fulter. Dumps inside for Clark. Kick out to Martin. Pulls up from three. Drains it. And it, it's something that when, when you can keep your opponent off the board and, and not allow them to get easy baskets, that's what Iowa's doing now, getting an extra chance, even though they've made so many. Kate Martin drills it from deep. Stolke keeping the ball alive, saving it inbounds. And then the unselfishness. Finding the open player, Kate Martin ready to pull. Been a couple different lead changes so far in this one. Hawkeyes start out with the basketball. Nice move by Kate Martin. Jocelyn Tate got face cut by Clark. Kate Martin. How about this spin? That a whole hump 25 point, eight rebounds, seven is this night, which is as special as it comes. Kind of feels a little bit like it's just a regular game. Are you bored? Are you not entertained? No, I'm very, no, I'm just saying. Boiled the nation with the statistics no that she's question. put up. Oh, Kate okay, Martin taking it to the basket. Those are those soccer legs we were talking about. Kate Martin just takes it away. She sees no one is ahead of her all alone at the rim. They've gone cold. Jared Zoe knocked away. Stolen. Martin to Clark. Wraps it around, Gabby Marshall. Addison O'Grady in the game. Sharon Goodman goes to the bench. They go quickly to O'Grady. Passes out of it. Martin left all alone. Catches in. Kate Martin knew that shot was going down the moment it left her hand. Nobody wants to play against, but everybody wants on their team. She does all of the little things. She's tough. She makes open shots, but she has had a drastic impact, not just from a scoring perspective, but from an all-around. Caitlin is eyeing someone. She gets it to Davis. Martin sets her feet. Clark now facing Jazz Shelley, someone who takes so much pride in her defense. It's going to open up O'Grady underneath for an easy two. A couple possessions left here in this first half. Martin had a lot of time. Three quarter four pressure. Clark draws a double. Mark inside and one. First caught the ball. Didn't expect to be that open. Attacked the ball, the basket, and got the foul on Jakia Brown Turner. I mean, this was just excellent execution, strong finish. Clark pushing. Finds Martin for three. The transition look is good. The third year here in Nebraska after two at Oregon. Stolke on the kick out. It's an open look for three for Kate Martin. This group, Hannah Stolke, pass out of the double team. Kate Martin finds. Here comes Michigan. Four and five for the moment. Crockett blocked and met at the rim by Kate Martin. This is about as loud as it got when Clark broke the scoring record. People love good defensive plays in Garber Hawkeye. Martin timed that perfectly as the ball was coming out of Crockett's hand, so she's avoiding the foul. Heads up. Over 50% in transition. She loves to post up smaller guards, has a great back to the basket game that maybe doesn't get talked about enough. Kate Martin snatches it out of the air. Attacking McKenzie and gets it to fall. Between these two powers in the Big Ten Conference and in college basketball, Bucks cough it up again. Here comes Caitlin. Martin steps into a J. Martin. The quarter ends the way it began with a Kate Martin basket. Gretz throws it away. Clark finding 
the falter. An ability to finish down low. Look at how tight Potts is defending Kate Martin, so shuffle pass to Stokey.